Today we are celebrating London Living Wage Week. So this is a great opportunity for us to kind of showcase, and look at the employers in Greenwich who are paying a living wage. We're really privileged in Greenwich to have over 100 employers who are choosing to pay the London Living Wage. And that has meant a huge difference for the people that they employ. Over a thousand employees have seen a pay rise um, and, and more money in their pocket. Today we've caught up with local employees um, and their employers to talk to them about the difference that London Living Wage makes to them, um, both as a, as a company, as a business, but as an individual working in that organisation as well. As a council, we really want to support you on this journey, so we will be paying for the accreditation of any company that's on their path towards becoming a London Living Wage employer, and we really encourage you to apply and join us as we kind of build a movement of more employees in the borough becoming London Living Wage employers. We're committed to paying the London living wage because we find that we want to be efficient, we do high value work, we need motivated people who are committed to their careers. So it's about rewarding people properly and we get the best results, the most efficiency and that's been a key factor in us being able to grow and develop. This is the first company that I've gone to that's been involved in this, which has meant I've been more motivated, more enthusiastic. It's also then helped assist in my progression within the company. Um, I'm now in a position where I'm working my way up and I now need someone under me to help me. And I find when I've been looking for new candidates, it's also really helped me find the best people for the position when we tell them that we're accredited for the London living wage. We're one of the forerunners and uh, technology driving companies for virtual production and image robotics. Well, we do some cool stuff and, and, and we bring a lot of uh, people into the Greenwich Borough, uh, specialists and highly specialised people, but there's also a attraction from a lot of people that want to get involved and probably can't demand that high, higher wages and it's really difficult in London to sort of uh, get on your feet. It is well beyond. I mean, you can't survive on the minimum wage, it's just impossible. I and mean, we want to help that and try to be as fair as possible. As a single parent, it's very hard and the fact that I get paid enough so both me and my child are living as needs be and we can have little treats to ourselves once bills are paid and everything is done um, makes me be able to sleep very comfortably at night knowing that I have a job that pays me well enough for me to look after myself and my son. I think it's ultimately about sort of treating people well and I think as employers you have sort of motivated staff who are, are, are kind of less stressed and less worried about these sort of pressures. Um, so yeah, definitely we, we see the benefit. We want it to be um, a good employer. We want uh, everyone to be able to afford to live um, with everything that's gone on in the world. We want to make sure that our staff are happy and that um, they can live a, a, a reasonable life with a good wage. It means that I can uh, earn a living, I can actually live on, and it means that I know that I and um, the job I do is recognised and valued. I would recommend committing to pay a living wage because it's basically the least we can do to help our staff. It makes a good working environment for everyone and everyone feels respected.